Hey guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be testing a new brand from Dollar General, which I'm really excited about. I was so excited to film this video. It took me a week to get my camera and my computer to work with me, but we've got almost a full face of makeup to try. Almost a full face. I didn't get everything because I wanted to see if I liked the products before I went ahead and just bought the primer and the mascara because I kind of have my favorites for those items already. But we have a lot to try. Everything from this brand is under five bucks. So if you wanna see how these items work, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe before you leave. And let's just get to how these things work. I was gonna go in with this eyeshadow palette first because I don't know what the fallout's gonna be like, if there's gonna be, if it's just gonna be a hot mess and it would be easier to fix it with concealer and foundation. But I kind of just want to do that part last and I just want to jump into the skin. I didn't get a primer, so I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Uh, Poreless Putty Primer because it'll be a good way to tell if I think this foundation is good or not because I use this primer every time I put foundation on. We are primed. I'm going to go in with the foundation Believe Beauty Skin Finish foundation medium to full coverage and it's 0.8 fluid ounces it doesn't really have any claims i don't believe it's made in germany i got the shade warm vanilla i mean i don't know it looks like it's gonna be really dark actually the the let's talk about the component the component i cannot say that word right the component it's actually pretty nice it's really heavy nice glass um very pretty for five dollars uh and it has a pump which is also really nice so we're just gonna pump some out let's go with two pumps it says it's medium full coverage so let's just do that first and if we need more we'll get more uh we'll do this side with a beauty blender see what kind of coverage we get with that it actually doesn't look like that bad of a shade match actually all right so i feel like it is oxidizing a little bit already it's kind of orange and I'm more olive so I'm gonna have to blend this down so I'd say that's definitely more of a medium amount of coverage I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a brush on the other side of my face see if we get more coverage on this side you could see the difference I mean it's a decent amount of coverage it evens out the redness of my skin it covers up the acne spots, I have another one right here. It covers decently enough if you're not going for full glam. Let's just start with this and then we'll see. Usually you get more coverage with the brush. I don't feel like I got more coverage with the brush because you could still see my breakout on my chin. I don't feel like it's more coverage, but I am using a lot less product for the same amount of coverage. It seems to be a satin matte finish. It's not super dewy, which I appreciate because it's summer and I think satin matte can work for most people. So I do like the finish uh, with the Beauty Blender better. It just looks smoother. It looks pretty decent on the skin. It doesn't look awful. It doesn't look amazing. So let's go ahead and go in with the concealer. It's the You're Covered Concealer, 15.15 ounces. I got the shade Ivory because the other one looked a little bit darker than what I prefer, but I feel like now that this is oxidized a little bit, it's gonna be really pale. But we'll try not to use too much. I will say it's kind of stinging a little bit. Uh, I, there was another concealer that did that with me. I think it was the Makeup Forever. 
it would sting a little bit. Well, that blended out really fast. I'd say it's a pretty light to medium coverage concealer. Let's go into setting. I got their Matte Blur Loose Powder in Translucent. It is really small. Uh, how many? Do you, you get 0.14. I can't talk today. You get 0.14 ounces, and it's really pretty small in comparison to the Too Faced Peach Perfect. As you can see, very, very small amount. How much do you get? You get 0.35 grams, um, and you get 0.14 ounces. And also, the Airspun, I mean, a huge difference. I can't remember how much this was, but I will try to find it and put it somewhere right here so you guys can see. Let me... Set my entire face. This is the trio that I got for blush, contour, and highlight. Hopefully you guys, I will try to get shots of all of these later, but it is the Get Glowing Highlight and Contour Palette. I got it in the shade Light Medium. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. The bronzer looks very powdery. Let's just try it. It's not very pigmented. This is like layer number four. Uh, I'm not really a fan. I'm gonna go in with the blush. I'm not happy with the blend. I hope that the formula is very different with the highlighter. This highlight looks pretty, but it also looks very glittery and that's not good for someone like me who has a lot of texture, so we shall see. The color is not bad. Nothing, I feel like I just blended that away. Okay, I don't know about this formula, you guys. I don't know if I like this this little trio thing. I did see that they had individual blushes and bronzers and highlights, so maybe those perform better than the trio. It maybe looks nicer on camera than it does in person. It just, it like disappears. Let me try with my finger. Maybe. Okay, whoa, that gives you way more shine. The texture on my skin where the highlight is is very emphasized. From afar, it looks very pretty, I would say. The color is nice, it's not too dark to where I have like those lines on my cheeks. It is very messy though, it's, I, mm, mm, we'll, we'll talk about it. Okay, now all we have left, oh crap. I thought I bought an eyebrow product. Let's do the eyes. So they had maybe like four or five palettes for the eyes. And I got the one with the most creative colors um, because I just wanted to play around with these. The others were kind of just basic. You have a really pretty black shimmer, a very pretty purple. All these are shimmers. Um, some gold, bronze, and a green with a very pink pearlescent shade right here. I'm gonna go in with this purple all over the lid. Oh, please, I hope these work. Because they're so pretty. Whoa. That's way darker than I thought it was gonna be. Okay. Maybe I need a bigger brush. I'm just applying it all over the lid. It doesn't have to look pretty right now. Let me get a brush. Let's see how this buffs out. It's not insanely metallic, so you can apply this all over the lid. Oh lord, it's looking patchy. Okay, so this purple is really hard to buff out without it looking patchy. I applied it with the finger and it looks way more pigmented with the fingers, sorry if I'm flipping you off right now. This purple's really pretty. I wanna go in with gold on the inside. I'm just gonna go in with the brush first, but I don't think it's gonna look too good. Yeah, let me go in with my finger. Ooh, on the finger that looks. Ah, wow. Wow, okay. 
The fingers weren't tight, you guys. It looks so good with the finger. Holy shit. Wow. I don't even think the camera's doing it justice. I should have cut this crease, but I mean, holy. I mean, my finger alone looks amazing. Okay, so this eyeshadow palette is one that needs to be applied with your finger. I'm gonna take a flat liner brush with this black. I do feel like it's fading a little bit. Ah, oh, and I, I don't think the camera is capturing how pretty it looks. Very pretty. I kind of want to wet it. Yeah, I got a purple liner from them. This is their long lasting eyeliner in Queen Mauve. I wanted to try a purple eyeliner because of the purple shade in here. It really spoke to me. It's not a super strong purple, but it'll do the job. Let's see how it applies. Honestly, you can't really tell. Yeah, it's applied. Ooh, I got fallout all over my face. Uh, it looks pretty good. I do think it maybe looks a little cheap when you get up close, but from afar, I think it's very pretty. We're gonna use the other half of the palette. My camera keeps shutting off. All right, that seems to be as good as it's gonna get. Let me try to blend that a little bit. It is a little dark. I'm gonna do black on the other side to line my eyes. Cause I'm blowing like crazy because I have fallout all over my face. Glitter everywhere. I'm gonna blend, oh shit. I'm gonna blend this gold out in a minute. Oh my eye. Lord. Oh. No tears, Becca. Okay. My eyes are watering. Sorry, poke myself. Let me try to blend this a little bit. Okay, that seemed to do the trick. Uh, I might as well line this side with the purple. Hmm, not a huge fan of that. I'm going to, where did this brush go? Put a little bit of that black in the corner. All right. I actually want to put a little bit more gold. There we go. Uh, let me put mascara on this eye and then we'll move forward. Let's just do the lips so that they can dry while I put on the false lashes that I bought. This is in the shade Honey Blush and it's a matte liquid lipstick. I kind of wish that I would have gotten a gloss instead. I don't think this lip color matches this eye look for sure. This one a little. I don't know. I didn't pick a very good shade, but let's just go ahead and test the formula. Typical doe foot applicator. Yeah, it's very pink. I wish it was more of a mauve. It's too pink for my liking. It does not look good with this eyeshadow look. While that dries, we are going to put on the Goddess Finish False Lashes. Oh, there's glue in here. Okay, well, did not know that it came with glue. They're very pretty, very wispy. That's my kind of lash. They look really nice. Hopefully the band isn't too thick. I am not gonna use the glue, because those glues tend to never work. So, I haven't worn lashes in a minute, so hopefully these look okay when I put them on. All right, I'm gonna apply these lashes off camera and I'll be back. 
Okay guys, so I applied the eyelashes and this is what they look like. I think they're really pretty. I'm just really out of practice when it comes to putting eyelashes on, so they might look kind of awful. Let's kind of get into what I think about everything, what I would repurchase and what I wouldn't, because there's some good items in here and there are some items in here that are not worth trying in my opinion. So let's just start from where we began. Um, the foundation. I think I like it so far. It's kind of hard to tell if the smoothness was the foundation or the powder. I'll be giving these items a try separately. Um, but so far I do like it. I would say it's worth trying. Everything from this brand, like I said in the beginning of the video, is under $5. So I think it's worth a try if you have dry skin or combo skin or oily. I think it would work for most people. Give it a shot for five bucks. It's really not gonna hurt your pocket that much. I also really do like the powder, I think. I'm gonna be trying it with different foundations that I love to see if it's the powder that's really good, if it's the foundation that's really good, or maybe these products only work really nicely together. I don't remember how much this was, but you do really get a small amount of powder. I don't know how long this would last me because it's very small, but I like it. So thumbs up on this. The concealer, I do like. I got the lightest shade, I think, and it has not creased, which is really, kind of impressive every concealer i've ever tried has creased tarte shape tape the brand new elf uh concealer which is amazing it's my usual day-to-day go-to -day go all of it creases this one has not creased i don't know i'm surprised but i really really like this i think this is nice for when I don't want to be full glam, but I do want a little bit of brightness under my eyes. I would definitely recommend you guys to give this concealer a try. This trio, bronzer, blush, and highlight. I don't like it. I don't think it's very pigmented. I don't like the formula. It's very powdery. I don't think it blends very nicely. My forehead looks a little patchy. This highlight blends away every time I go to put more and the only way I could get it on there to really be, you know, strong, I don't know, words escape me right now, is with a finger. And even with the finger application, I just don't think it's, it's worth getting for just this. I'm not that impressed. Don't really recommend. Uh, let's move to the eyeliner. I think it's just... A basic eyeliner I would have loved if it was like this deep rich purple and it's kind of just like a veil of purple and it's it's just not worth trying in my opinion it wasn't that great let's talk about this lip color it's a questionable choice um, I will say it's not matte it's kind of like just putting on a liquid I mean uh, your traditional tube lipstick uh, I'm pretty sure if I were to rub my lips uh, around it would smear and make a mess. I feel it clumping up right here in the corner of my mouth Which is pretty gross. Yeah, it just came off all over my finger Um, so I maybe wouldn't I wouldn't recommend this maybe try the glosses I've been really into gloss lately and maybe that would be more up my alley this eyeshadow palette if I can open it um I don't know how I feel about this. I think the colors are really pretty. You could do a lot of looks with them. I think it's a very nighttime palette. Uh, their colors are very dark, except for the gold and this corner pearl shade right here. I will say with a brush, which most people use now, is very hard to blend. It's very hard to blend. And it's patchy. But it's not the worst eyeshadow I've ever used. The gold is really pretty and this this shade for the inner corner I think is really nice. I like the color of the purple. I think it's deep and it's smoky and the glitter is very pretty. I don't know. It makes my eyes look brighter. 
And the green's very nice too, but it's patchy. And I feel like it's one of those eyeshadows that as you wear it throughout the day, it's gonna fade and it's not gonna look as nice. So I think you can make it work. I do like it. I'm like in the middle. If you don't mind spending a couple bucks, uh, like five bucks on this, and you there's a chance you might not like it, but you're not gonna be pissed that you spent five dollars, then I'd say give it a try, because I think it's really nice when you apply it with the finger or when it's wet, and I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty. I think the eyelashes are really pretty. I can't remember how much they were. I'll put a thing right here, but it's under five bucks, and for under five bucks, I feel like they're really nice. The band isn't too thick, which I was worried about. I think I liked everything except for these, okay, except for these three things. So yeah, I guess that is it for this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Join us here while we try a bunch of new makeup. And I will see you guys uh, in the next video. Bye guys. Don't let me.